Did you know you can save the polar bear in the bedroom? <laughs> We're out here on Earth Day having conversations with people about the best ways to be green. Instead of driving my truck so much, I could ride my bicycle. Her school is doing a uh, kind of a green day on Monday, no electricity. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Uh, you cut down on car emissions, which doesn't look too likely today. I have my own garden. I compost and stuff like that. I ride a bike as much as possible. I have a motorcycle, less gas. We try not to use very much water. What are some of the ways that you're greening up your life? Um, def I recycle, and I always I don't throw any trash on the ground. First of all, we have to recycle. Saving aluminum cans to recycle. Bike commuting, recycling. We try to make sure we use green stuff and we recycle. I recycle. What do you think is the greenest thing that you could do? Maybe start recycling. Would it surprise you if I told you that the greenest thing you could do is to actually have a small family? It does surprise yeah. me. <laughs> does it make sense? It makes sense. It makes sense. F fewer people use fewer resources. Yeah. A lot of sense. Because the more people that you have, the more garbage, the more trash, the more we abuse the environment. Scientists have determined that if you have one less child, in your family that that is uh, that will reduce your carbon footprint 20 times more than changing your light bulbs, driving less, and getting uh, energy efficient appliances. Really? So you're telling me to sell one of the kids? If you were to decide to have four kids, and each of those four kids had four kids, and each of their four kids had four kids, do you know how many great-grandchildren you would have? Too many. <laughs> Does that change your plans? Were you thinking about having 12 or 15 no, kids? No, no, no. no this is it. Probably gonna stop I'm too. just, yeah. I'm We're expecting, expecting a second one. And Did, that's it. You've probably heard people say reduce, reuse, and recycle, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, have you ever thought about uh, reduce our reproductive activity as being green? Um, I, I, maybe. Is it more green to conserve water or to choose to have a smaller family? Uh, Which do you think is greener, uh, leaving your car in the garage and walking, converting all of your light bulbs in your house over to CFLs, putting land into parks and uh, conserving it, carpool, or to choose to have a smaller family? Well, in the long run, I would assume having a smaller family. What do you think? Smaller family. <laughs> okay, but it's not something you think about every day, is it, like no. that? No. But all those things you do, that you just described, which are wonderful, important things to do, won't make up for the fact that you had 32 kids. <laughs> if you don't burn a gallon of gas, that keeps about 24 pounds of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Okay. If you choose to have one less child when you're planning your family, and I know you're beyond that. Yeah, uh, I think so. <laughs> that, that if one less child means 9,000 tons less carbon dioxide. You gotta keep those kids warm, you gotta keep those feet in those kids, and you have trash and stuff to get rid of and all that. So I'm not advocating that you uh, not change your light bulbs or ride a bike, uh, turn off the lights when you leave the room, but uh, you can make such a huge impact by uh, choosing to have a small family. We're giving away endangered species condoms on behalf of the All Center right. for Biological Diversity. Hey. They want people to, uh, to know that human population growth is the leading factor in habitat destruction and, and species extinction. There are over seven billion people on the planet today. We are pushing species off the planet at an alarming rate. This one's kind of funny. Cover your tweedle, save the burying beetle. <laughs> We're also uh, liquidating the planet of important resources that we need. The more we screw, the more sh we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> These are endangered species condoms from this. <laughs> okay. I'm out, actually out here today uh, handing out uh, endangered species condoms. Here is some population control right here. These oh. are endangered species condoms. Oh, yeah, and they're. The, the <laughs> That's good. It would be really dangerous to try to put these on some of these endangered species. I expect so. And it sounds like you got a good head start, but could you use a few? Yeah, sure. Interestingly enough, uh, stopping it too is one of the is one of the greenest things you can do. Really, I did not know that. Do you think most people understand uh, uh, that the world is overpopulated today? Do you think it's overpopulated? I think it's terribly overpopulated, and I think most people don't understand that.
by the end of this century, they say we'll be passing through 10 billion. Do you think we should just keep on going like that? I very object to our overpopulation. That's one of the reasons we have water problems. Somewhere in the world, every second, four women are getting pregnant. I think those four women don't have time for bridge. And golf's out. <laughs> A lot of people think there's nothing you can do about overpopulation. Oh yeah, there is. It's tripled, just in my lifetime. Do you think if we were just trying to feed two or three billion people on the planet instead of, instead of seven billion people, that it'd be a little easier for us to keep the water clean? Would it astonish you to know that we could actually get world population cut in half simply by getting the global fertility rate down to about 1.7? Oh, yeah. Why can't we ever seem to get mosquitoes, cockroaches, and real estate developers onto the endangered species list? I have no idea. Who should be on the endangered species list? The octopus or the octomom? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I see the big picture of it. Yeah, right, of course. These are endangered species condoms that you can use if you decide that you want to be green and have a smaller family when it's, when the time comes. Thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. Would you be interested in saving the polar bear? You could give these to your younger friends, your children, your grandchildren, and say, listen, we just want you to know that human overpopulation is pushing species off the planet. It is. It really is. But I don't need them. You don't have to be afraid to touch them. They're, they're, they're not used. I noticed that you left your other eight kids at home today. <laughs> you're right, you're right. We just take a few out at a time. We try not to be outnumbered. Is that one of the ways that you conserve energy is by not having to have a, a bus to take the whole family out, out on a Saturday? Yes, exactly. We leave our Humvees at home and we take the Prius. Did I hear you say stop it too? Yes. Yeah. And what's motivating that? Well... We're a couple, so having two kids, I guess, it will keep the population the same. <laughs> Why would you stop at one? Because <laughs> uh, one is plenty. And it's also uh, to be able to provide a better um, education for them. And, you know, there's a lot of things. And unfortunately, it's expensive today. So The average cost for just a middle-income family in the United States to raise a kid, not counting college or beer, is something like $268,000. Oh, yeah? You got that all put away, saved up, right? Wouldn't you say that it's the, the most yes. loving, responsible thing you could do would be to stop it too? Well, replace yourself. That's it. We just want to be able to know our kids' names. <laughs> you know, when people have a lot of kids, they're like, oh, you, no, you. We just want to it's be able to provide, one. yeah. We just want to be able to provide them, like, our attention and be there for them. So I, we think that too is, it's good for us. This is a pretty joyful way to be green, wouldn't you say? I'd say that's pretty joyful. Uh, <laughs> My kids will enjoy these. <laughs> yes, you can tell them they can save the polar bear in the bedroom. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Wrap it or I'll slap it. <laughs> I see that you've got two kids. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about having eight or ten more? Would that be a green thing to do? <laughs> no, I think we're good. <laughs> no. We're good. We're good with two. So would you like some? Sure. sure. Okay. Let's save the polar bear. <laughs> Let a taking and a looting and a robbing and polluting and a earth can't sustain this disease of the brain for much longer. We must call the growth buster.